Welcome to Season 5 of Body and Mind, brought to you by Beverage Partners, Lacno Healthy Living Juices and Oasis Box Drinking Water, Hygiene Partners, Cool and Cool, and Associate Sponsors, Nutrido Arabia, Nutri-Cook and Allium Chicken. Extreme and intense workouts can either be a hit or a miss, but today I'm about to hit a whole new high with a hit class here at Barry's DIFC. Um, for me, I feel like it's the perfect combination of a workout because it combines um, cardio and strength at the same time. So you're basically hitting two birds with one stone in 50 minutes. Um, atmosphere is amazing, the vibe is amazing, the instructors are amazing, the music is always like up to date and it just gives you this fire, you know, to just like beat your workout. Well, the HIT program here at Barry's, it's a very high intensity program and both physically and mentally I've become a different person. Uh, from a physical standpoint, both my stamina and my endurance has improved over time and from a mental standpoint, it's kind of like a stress therapy for me during the long days of work. My one hour of just coming in, hitting a cool session, very quick, 50 minutes fast paced and then I'm done. So it's, 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 it's an all around game changer for my overall aspect of life. Well, honestly, I can say from the bottom of my heart that it is the best workout I've ever done, mentally and physically. Physically, obviously, the you burn around 700 to 1,000 calories a cast, which is great for your physical health and keeping fit and healthy. But I think there's something really special and unique about the Barry's method and how we're all kind of like a community and a family here at Barry's. The lights, the trainers, the music, the program really kind of brings it all together and it helps like mentally to relieve stress. Every time I go in there after a long day, I come up feeling 10 times better. And so yeah, that's what it's done for me over the past few years and honestly, I couldn't imagine life without it. Uh, the Red Room is an experience at itself. You come in there, the red lights are shining on you, you, you're really focused on yourself and the instructor's vibe as well with the atmosphere just adds up to the entire element of the experience in the Red Room. You know, as a mountaineer and as a marathon runner, you know, you need to combine uh, endurance training cardio and strength and you know the fact that we have treadmills and we have like a full workout where you can choose what weights you want to like work out with so it just gives you that variety and, and diversity of a, of a training every time you show up and then every day is different so it's targeted training for every body part so you get to choose what is it that you want to focus on on that particular day is it arms is it abs is it lower body is it full body is it upper body all right, guys, I've just finished my hit class and I have Jay here, my instructor and instructor here at Barry's. Jay, what a class. I mean, it is so high energy. It is so much fun, isn't it? That's what we try to do here. <laughs> we try to have lots of lots of fun within the room. Yeah. Uh, we have fun, but it's a great workout. It's very effective as well. We can burn up to a thousand calories of yeah. abs. Yeah. yeah, so today I believe you were specializing or focusing more on abs and glutes. Yeah, okay. so uh, on Thursdays we focus on abs and glutes and every day we have a different focus on the muscle group. Um, and wherever you go in the world, Barry's, it will always be the same. So yeah. if you're one day in London, uh, on Thursday will also be abs and glutes. Okay, so, they, so you guys just make sure that nobody breaks their workout routine. That's it, yeah. <laughs> if you're one day in LA, next day in Dubai, you can still come to so Barry's. So you could be a jet setter and still make sure that your workout's on We point. have a few <laughs> jet setters, yeah, we do. Fantastic. Now, would you say that this kind of workout is for everybody? Yes, listen, we have different variations um, when you're in the red room. So we have beginner options, we have intermediate and advanced options. So it's for everyone. Yes, we do have uh, elite and yes, we do have first time as beginners as well. So yeah, we would like to be inclusive for, for all. The atmosphere inside is just electric because you've got the red lights and everybody's so pumped, ready to work out. You've got a crazy playlist. I mean, the music alone just makes you want to dance. And that's all. it, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, so um, Barry, who created Barry's over 20 years ago now, he used to go to gyms 
and he wanted that party atmosphere when you train. So that's why uh, you see the red lights beaming down. We're all having fun within the room and we have an effective workout at the same time. Absolutely. So now my turn. Yes, okay. <laughs> You're gonna ask me the questions. How did you find the workout? First, we'll start with the treadmill because we have split treadmill and floor. So yeah. how was the tread yeah. for you? The treadmill's fine. I, I have done plenty of cardio in my life and yeah. uh, it was fairly easy. Of course, it is mm. very high intensity, mm. uh, but I tried to keep up as much as I could. The treadmill was fine. The floor exercises, they were fairly easy to do, but of course, because this is my first yeah. time, I was uh, trying my level best to keep up with everybody mm. else. Um, yeah, it was, it was rough, but some of the floor exercises was a bit harsh for my back because I've never really done ex floor exercises without a mat. Yeah. Um, but of course, it was very manageable. But overall, yeah. it was, you know, it was fun. So it was fun. yeah, it was glutes and abs today. So there is going to be a few movements lying down on our backs with the bicycle crunches, the alternating toe touches. So yeah, there will be a little bit of a little bit of pressure through the yeah. back, but you know, we yeah, can keep on. Yeah, but it is manageable. It is of manageable course, because yeah. it's not a full on floor exercise. It's just a small portion of the Yeah, we get up on our workout. feet yeah, again. Yeah, we yeah. go we go with the squats, wide foot position, yeah. kickbacks, lots of stuff yeah. like this. So. so for our viewers watching at home who want to attempt the hit class for the first time, what would you say to them? Any tips? I would say to them, come down, have a try. Again, don't be worried. There is options for everyone. Yeah. You know, we've had people that haven't trained in a long time come by and get a very good workout. So uh, don't be scared, calm down. Don't be scared, they That's don't bite. It. We don't bite. They're actually very fun people. We have lots of fun in the class. Yeah. And uh, because we're there ready is for quite you. a family spirit over here, isn't it? That's it, it's yeah. on the back of our Yeah, tops. it's on the back of the yeah. t-shirt. Do you want to show it very quickly? Yeah, it says family. We're right a there. big family here. Yeah, and not just here, all around the world as well. So whenever I'm anywhere else, I'm, I'm going to Barry's. Jay, everywhere. it's been real. Thank you so much Thank for having so me much. here. I've really enjoyed my first uh, hit class over here at Barry's. Will you be back? I will be back. I there promise. we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you much. Ash. Cheers. Always remember to sanitize, particularly after an intense workout. And I'm going to do just that with my cool and cool sanitizer. I'm going to head out to break, but before that, I'm going to take a sip of my Lachno protein milk and berries. Mm. What I love about Lacno Protein Milk is that it's 100% natural ingredients, high in calcium and vitamin D, and it's great for your long-term wellness and nutritional needs. Time for a break and I'll be back in just a jiffy. Welcome back to season five of Body and Mind, brought to you by Beverage Partners, Lacno Healthy Living Juices and Oasis Box Drinking Water, Hygiene Partners, Cool and Cool, and associate sponsors, Nutridor Abivia, NutriCook, and Allume Chicken. Now, we promised you guys throughout the season, the theme is healthy and immunity boosting, and we are not going to stray away from it. On the food segment today, we have the golden spice, a tangy fruit, and a herb with a kick. So I've decided to dress according to the theme because the star ingredients of our food tonight are turmeric and tamarind that explains the yellow and black and ginger. I couldn't include that in my theme because what color is ginger anyway? Let's not get carried away with that little detail. For the second time this season, we have with us Chef Amrish. Hi, Chef. Thank you, Ashwarya. I'm so glad that you accepted my invitation for the second time. I'm sure I pleased you with my eating skills last time, just like how you impressed me, blew me away with your cooking skills. So, Chef, the theme for this evening, as I mentioned earlier, let's start with turmeric, yeah. okay? Uh, a medicinal herb that is a staple in almost every Indian household. So good for your health, so health friendly at the same time enemy of freshly manicured nails why did you decide to choose turmeric uh it's a great immunity booster and the spice something which we have grown up with yes and definitely i would love to use this in my mm -hmm. uh cooking okay perfect so tell me about this appetizer that you've prepared for me and why have you served it on a uh, in a glass <laughs> uh now uh the appetizer that you're having now is uh, inspired from southern part of india kerala so oh, we have wow. got a chutney called inji puli where they use ginger of tamarind course. and turmeric and uh, the, there's a vegetable cutlet in this this vegetable cutlet is inspired from eastern part of india this inji puli is inspired by a sadhya which I had in one of my friend's home. So I wanted to replicate the same recipe and I've taken the recipe from my friend's mother. 
I'm I'm sure you will be enjoying this uh, inji puri with cutlet. You know, chef, being from Kerala, I'm no stranger to inji puri. Inji puri directly translates to ginger and tamarind. Uh, puri means sourness as well in Malayalam. And usually it's served as a pickle, uh, just like a drop of it on your sadhya banana leaf. I've never seen somebody make a whole chutney out of it because it's got very strong tangy taste to it. And uh, I've never had a vegetable cutlet on top of it. It's definitely a first time for me. Now, Chef Amrish said something very interesting while he was in the kitchen cooking away. You actually said, and this is his opinion, it's his theory, I've never heard it before. You said that deep fried is healthier than shallow fried. Yeah, see, uh, basically this is the first thing which we have learned in our, uh, in our college. And also I have experienced all of all these years working as a chef in a kitchen. So when we are shallow frying any vegetable or any cutlet or any ingredient, it tends to absorb more oil because shallow frying is normally done at a lower temperature. So when you are shallow frying anything at a lower temperature, it absorbs more oil and you do a cooking for a longer period of time. But while we, when you are doing a deep frying of any, any cutlet or any vegetable, so your food is completely immersed in the oil. So what happens, it seals the outer surface of the vegetable or the cutlet. So it prevents the oil to enter the vegetable inside or the cutlet inside. So you have the cooking happening on the outer side, but inside the cooking is happening, but not from the from the oil, but it's happening because of the heat which is provided from the outside. You know, while you do make sense with uh, your theory on why deep frying might be healthier than shallow frying, but I, I still need a little bit more convincing. Maybe I just need to read up on it a little yeah, bit sure. more. But nonetheless, delicious. Moving on to this aubergine dish over here. Now, there's a bit of a South Indian uh, theme going on throughout, yes. except for this particular dish, am I right? This one has got a bit of a Japanese twist this to it. Has, uh, this has, uh, again, the cooking style is inspired mm. from a Japanese, uh, sh uh, Japanese cooking. Mm. But again, um, the ingredients that we have used in like ginger, get tamarind, turmeric, I think they are used predominantly in Southern Indian food also. And this is inspired from a salon, from a Hyderabadi salon. Mm. Hyderabadi Banganka salon. So you have got the acidity, you have got the sweetness, which is given from the peanut. Then you have got the acidity from the tamarind. Then we have used some uh, the palm sugar also in this. What's this fruit on top? This is uh, green apple salad. Again, the apples are coming wow. in season now, so we have thought of giving it with some green apple salad. Mm. I'm getting several flavors over here because you've got that strong taste of the aubergine, but yet it's not overpowering. And as Chef just mentioned, this sweetness, sourness, a very robust flavors. I yes. quite like it. it. It makes my palate like quite happy and comfortable right now. Okay, moving on to the third dish for this evening. Tell us about this one, Chef. Now, this dish is uh, like uh, a take on polichatu. Yes. Which is again a very uh, coastal spice. Polichatu. Polichatu. Oh, oh, no, no, sorry. Polichatu. <laughs> polichatu. <laughs> polichatu. Polichatu. Okay. Polichatu. I forgive you. Go for it. <laughs> so now, in this, what we have done, instead of using the tomatoes and the coconut and the curry leaves, we have used, of course, we have used the curry leaves in this, but we have uh, used more of turmeric in this, and we have used tamarind and ginger in this. So what we have done, we have taken, we have prepared a marinade with all these herbs and the uh, tamarind. We have blended it in a in a in a in a blender in a nutri bullet blender, and then we have seasoned the chicken with the marinade, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, once once the chicken is seasoned, we rest it for thirty minutes, and we have wrapped it in a, wrapped it in a banana leaf, and then we have cooked in the poli. Poli, poli chada. <laughs> poli chada style. You know, poli chada, I mean, it's usually just made with fish, but it's the first time that I've tried one with chicken. Yeah. And I love that you've used chicken thighs because chicken leg and thigh is my favorite part about the chicken. And we've used alium chicken, which is known for no hormones added, no antibiotics. And the chicken has had a 100% vegetable diet. And of course, goes without saying, I saw you use my Nutri Bullet. How was your experience with it that? It was like you put, the, the blender was great. And, uh, I love the Nutri Bullet Blender combo because uh, I mean it is so easy to use. It looks so nice and modern, very cost effective, and at the same time you can make so many things with it. Right from your smoothies to you can grind like little spices, like how you used for this chicken over yeah. here. It's convenient, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah? I agree with you. Mm -hmm. You know, chef. Growing up, my mother used to make this um, Kerala dish called Kalashakori. And this reminds me of that because of that tamarind and ginger flavor. I'm not sure if that's what you were going for, but it kind of reminds me of that very nostalgic feel. For all the Keralites watching, they know what Kalashikori is. It is absolutely delicious. Have you learned how to pronounce it again? 
പൊള്ളിച്ചത് പൊളിച്ചത് പൊളിച്ചത്തിക് ഷെഫ് താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് ഐ റിയലി യെറ്റ് അനദർ ഫിനോമിനൽ സ്പ്രെഡ് ദറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് യുവർ ഫോർ മി ഹാവ് ലേൺ സോ മച്ച് ഫ്രം യു Although you're from the north of India, I love, you know, the South Indian flavor that you bring to so many of your dishes. Because I was born in the southern part of India. Oh! It's a joke. So you're As a <laughs> chef, I was born in the southern part of India. Yeah. But... Uh, so you're paying homage to yes, the South yes, India. Yes. Fantastic. As always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Pleasure is here. All right, guys. So while I have this tedious task of finishing all this delicious food in front of me, why don't you guys go and take a break? Yeah? Thank you. Bye. Welcome back to season 5 of Body and Mind brought to you by Lakhnow Healthy Living Juices and Oasis Box Drinking Water Hygiene Partners Cool and Cool and Associate Sponsors Nutrito Abavia Aliom Chicken and Nutri Cook The harmony vibrations and reverberations created by frequency sound and today I tend to surrender myself to the healing powers of sound Usually when we think of relaxation and meditation the one thing that we need to absolutely disconnect from is noise but sound on the other hand has amazing healing properties and to use the right kind of sound today i've got my yoga instructor and sound healer chandni hi chandni hi how's hi, it going very well chandni i'm so excited to be here this is my first time trying sound healing normally i try to disconnect from any kind of sound or noise when i want to relax but this can actually heal someone yes so sound healing is this amazing healing technique where we use different instruments to heal people and uh, where I, i use these amazing singing bowls right here mm-hmm. and each singing bowl here has a different frequency which sort of connects with the frequency in your body and helps you raise your vibrations which in turn helps you relax and calm okay yeah. i mean it's no secret that we're living in times of uncertainty mm-hmm. would you say that a therapy like this can actually help you achieve your mental balance yes it does uh, apart from sound healing there are very many other techniques that we use in a sound healing session uh, the first thing being connecting with the breath connecting with the breath itself is an amazing thing to do so there are certain uh, breathing techniques that i practice with the clients and that sort of helps them relax and ease their anxiety and sort of relieve stress at the same time would you get or would you get the goodness of it from the very first session itself yes it will definitely help you relax the first session you in the first session you will understand how sound healing is working on your body so a lot of people have trouble sleeping have a lot of stress in general or they're feeling anxious so sound healing and breathing techniques and yoga nidra meditation all of these three things combined will definitely in the first session help one person or help one relax and feel that uh, calmness in the body instantly you know calmness is something i could definitely feel right now calmness almost feels like a luxury at this point so i'm excited to see what magic you're going to create with sounds right close your eyes just stay there connect with your breath and try to relax your mind your body So how was your experience Aishwarya? I hope you enjoyed the sound healing. Um because this is my first experience I didn't know what exactly to expect. Um I felt like 
when you had the sound balls in certain parts of my body, I felt a little bit more of the strain. At times, I did feel a little bit anxious. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because the sound was a bit strong for my ears. At one point, I felt a little bit of gag reflex. I don't know if that's uh, normal. It's quite normal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the relaxation was very relaxing for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was fascinating how you were able to diagnose you know, some of the health conditions that I have just by doing the sound healing, I think, I think that's fascinating. Correct. So the reason why you probably felt anxious and the gag reflux was probably because you're not able to resonate with the sound of that particular bowl, yeah. which is why I sort of placed it and improvised it. Yeah. Like I placed it off the body and just played it around it. Yeah. So I hope that sort of helped you yeah. feel a little relaxed. Yeah. And then I had to sort of ground the energy because I thought you felt a little... Uh, like aggravated with the sound. I uh, felt the vibrations quite strong when you had the bowl on my belly, belly exactly. because that is when I felt the most amount of vibration. Correct. Um, is that some sort of healing that you were doing or? Yes, so the, the bowl that I used on the belly was the belly bowl, meaning that you needed more healing towards the belly and the lower end, okay. so like the lower body. So that sort of helps you ground the energies, ground your the, the lower chakra, so we're working on the lower chakras with the help of the belly bowl. Whereas on the upper body, like so, sort of with the heart chakra, we're working on the heart chakra and the throat chakra or the energy centers that are around that area with the help of the heart bowl. And I was using a low heart, high heart bowl, which was sort of helping you calm the energies down, but it sort of worked the other way around when we turned around on the back. This also works on a very emotional level, right? Because of it's course. not just the physical exactly. elements that you were exactly. able to sort of give me your readings on, Correct. but there's a huge uh, emotional aspect to it. Like you yes. were asking me different questions, which was obviously off camera because they were quite personal. Correct. And uh, you, how do you sense that with the, just the sounds of the bowl? So when the bowl doesn't seep the sound in, when the when the vibrations don't seep in, that's when I know that there has there has been some sort of blockage in that certain area or in that certain energy center. Because today what we worked on were chakras, as we discussed even before the session. So uh, each bowl has a set frequency or a different frequency. Every bowl has a different frequency, and that frequency of the bowl sort of helps you raise your vibrations in that particular area or a particular part of the body that you're working. You know, with all the anxiety and uncertainty that every person in this planet is facing right now, something like this is definitely an escape. Chandni, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for healing me. Thank you so much. Right guys, so it is time for the sun to set on this episode after that intense sound healing session. I'm definitely ready to switch off and I'm sure you guys want to switch off as well because it is the end of our episode. But before we go, let's remember to stay clean. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my cool and cool hand sanitizer. This one's super convenient because it's small and I can just put it in my pocket. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back same time next week. Bye bye.